Russia's military power is known to be significantly well equipped. In order to counter the Russian military's attacks, the US and NATO allies are rushing arms shipments to Ukraine. On March 13, US President Joe Biden had approved a $200 million arms package for Ukraine. This includes Man Portable Air Defense Systems or Man Pads. Man Pads are short range, lightweight, and portable surface to air missiles. They can be fired by individuals or small groups to destroy aircraft or helicopters. They help shield troops from aerial attacks and are most effective in targeting low-flying aircraft. Man pads can be shoulder-fired, launched from atop a ground vehicle, fired from a tripod or stand, and from a helicopter or boat. They weigh anywhere between 10 to 20 kilograms and is not longer than 1.8 meters. They have a maximum range of 8 kilometers and can engage targets at altitudes of 4.5 kilometers. Operating man pads require substantially less training. They are fairly lightweight as compared to other elaborate weapon systems making them easy to operate by individual soldiers. Most man pads have passive or fire and forget guidance systems. This means that the operator is not required to guide the missile to its target, enabling them to run and relocate immediately after firing. The missile stays locked on to the targeted object, not requiring active guidance from the soldier. The missiles are fitted with infrared seekers that identify and target the airborne vehicle through heat radiation being emitted by the latter. The passive guidance man pads, which do not use a laser beam, are harder to detect by the target's crew. Ukraine still uses Soviet-era longer-range air defense systems that can target Russian aircraft. This is why Russia is flying its aircraft at low altitudes, which in turn makes them more vulnerable to short-range systems like manpads. Ukraine's Ministry of Defense has said that it has shot down 48 Russian planes and 80 helicopters. The US State Department said that Ukraine needs manpads and other surface-to-air missiles more than it needs fighter aircraft. Many observers have pointed out that sending manpads to Ukraine may have its share of not-so-positive effects. They say that sending lightweight ground-based manpads to Ukraine may contribute to intensifying the network of illegal weapon trade. Another concern around manpads is civilian attacks. According to a 2019 study, more than 60 civilian aircraft have been hit by manpads since the 1970s, claiming the lives of more than 1,000 civilians.